Yeah, hello friends. In the previous tutorial, we have la we have learned how to download and install PyQt in Windows. So in this tutorial, I'm uh, I'm going to show you how to design a form using Qt Designer in PyQt. So I we are we are we already installed pyqt 4.4 so we have to open just uh, the uh, the software comes with uh, pyqt that is called designer so simply search designer you can see designer uh, here if uh, you have to if uh, this is not showing in your system so simply go to all apps and uh, there is there is a folder pyqt gpl so click on that and you can see the designer just open for now so we are creating a login form so log login form the first login will, uh, dialog will open uh, for for user to uh, to insert username and password and then login button and sign up or cancel button you, you can use anything so this is a qt designer so let's uh, let's see this is a widget box this is a, it is same like toolbox uh, in visual studio uh, it comes with uh, just close for now you can see the different uh, uh, tools here toolbox uh, different uh, widgets like a layout vertical layout horizontal layout grid layout or form layout you can use anything uh, like in java so or uh, this is a spacer for you use to divide uh, the two forms or screen so you can see lay layout buttons push buttons tool button radar box uh, all the all the things that you need is goes here so you can see this is object inspector if uh, uh, if i add uh, a labor or uh, uh, first of all, uh, I uh, if I add vertical uh, layout and in vertical layout I am uh, use uh, adding push button inserting push button so this is this is a this is a sh this shows hierarchy of our uh, uh, widgets and this is the property window uh, I will show we will discuss in later so first of all you have to create a new form so for that simply create file and create new and this is the option ka, ka first shows templates of forms so first option dialog first option is dialog with buttons bottom this is the buttons comes with uh, uh, like uh, dialog this is dialog so dialog have two buttons or one button like ok or cancel so this is this is uh, this forms create with uh, built in buttons so this is ok or ca cancel uh, this is another uh, dialog with buttons but on right side of dialog and this is the dialog without buttons and then uh, main window widget main window the main uh, window of our application so this is widget if you, if you click on widget then uh, you have to select a widget anyone uh, any one of the widget from this list like a queue frame a frame uh, frame is a container doc widget uh, group box scroll area scroll area for uh, if uh, the content uh, in our form is uh, la large than uh, the screen of uh, sa screen of uh, sa actual size or actual resolution so you can simply uh, scroll the horizontally or vertically so that's why scroll area we use tab widget uh, toolbox you can see here the screenshot uh, in short short screenshot so toolbox here uh, stack widget wizard wizard page you one you can observe that all the start with q this is a this is a uh, widget name start with q because p y q t q t so that's why so we have to we have we, we are creating the login form so we have simply we i am simply using dialog without buttons because we don't need button we we have we are putting it uh, manually so 
create simply uh, click on create one more thing so, so sorry you can see yes size you can specify the size of uh, that form you are going to create so it doesn't matter you can change uh, uh, size uh, after so simply create and then you can simply uh, change the size like this drag and drop this is a this is very user friendly uh, tool comes with a PYQ it, it is very easy to handle uh, even uh, easy for than uh, Visual Studio if you if you will use your so we are going to create login form so first of all I am going to change the size of form to appropriate, appropriate size so this is my size so what contains uh, what what uh, contains the login form post label uh, text box so first I am using label where, 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 where. you can simply search like Q label or only label so simply drag and drop here this is just very simple drag and drop then double click to change the label text so I am changing to it username change change the size resize the username you can uh, simply use copy or paste here paste and change password you can select both and uh, change the position of both at a time this is very user friendly huh before we are first we are talking about this you can see hierarchy this is a label label 2 you can change the ob object name or label name simply uh, like a uh, user name you name label you can see here the name is changed the object name is changed this is object name uh, uh, after we can access the value of uh, value of this widget using this name this object name and second level we are changing the name to is pass label now we are going to insert uh, text area in this the name of text area is line edit so here here is you can see this is text edit for uh, like a uh, we can we can see the uh, address uh, address box if you if you uh, if uh, we have to insert address in uh, in a uh, you can see the large uh, text area that is text edit so this except multiple lines of input so we have we, we don't need so we need only one line of input that is username and password so uh, we, we are using line line edit so you can see line edit here so just align it to appropriate position for password again now buttons push button here name is push button so i mean push button name it to login copy paste resize uh, login and sign up you can change the size of uh, property of this uh, widget so this is the property window simply this is a uh, now I am giving short disc uh, short description about uh, this property 
geometry geometry is used to resize the lever the widget size like uh, position x and y is the starting position of this user name uh, level so this is x position and this is y position and this width width and height is a size of that widget you can see i can change the size like 100 see the size you can see the border of that is increased i'm not doing it again so i uh, i have to change the font so simply but uh, this is so many properties you can uh, check yourself so in font in font uh, list you can see the point size so i am using it to 12 i am doing so, so 10 you can see the size is changed you can uh, also change the font like anyone you can use bold it doesn't matter now to password label also i'm doing same thing change position one more thing I or you can also change the alignment of that uh, uh, text label label text sorry label text so you can see horizontally align is left okay that's right or vertically align is center so i am changing this uh, align left to uh, horizontal center and uh, vertical center to vertical bottom and changing this for vertical center and aligning the label to appropriate size so So this is the login form we have created or simply we have to save this control s and you can see the file the the form will be saved in dot ui form ui extension with ui extension so in letter we have to convert this ui file into uh, py file so that is python code so first of save the file i am using desktop create a new folder login form login dot ui ok simply save so uh, we have to we have to also create a so uh, sign up form for that so in, ne in next tutorial we, we will create a sign up form uh, and next uh, we we will convert that ui file into a py file so thanks for watching